Hey guys, what is up? I hope you're all having an awesome day. Today I want to talk about one of my Spider Miner rigs. This particular one has one Zotac 3060 Ti, two Zotac 3060s, two Asus Dual 3060s, and three EVGA 3060s. This is all in a Spider Miner case. Works pretty good. Keeps the cards nice and cold. Haven't had any issues with this thing here. This is running on Simple Miner. Run over here to Simple Miner. You can see all the cards here. Eight cards, 3060 Ti, and the rest are all 3060s. It's currently on Raven, running at about 192.5 mega hash a second. Here are the overclocks for the card. All the 3060s have 2000 memory. 3060 Ti has 1700. Power limits are 130 for the 3060s and 160 for the 3060 Ti. You can see here in the console, Run nice and steady 15 days, 20 hours uptime. No issues with this thing. Works nice and steady. However, I'm pretty sure that Ethereum is still doing better than Raven at the moment. So this is going to get swapped over to Raven on the LHR. And we'll put in some core clocks here. You can see here, you can do absolute core clock on SMOS. Before, this was never an option, so I always had it the same. For Raven, I'm running zeros. For SMOS, I'm going to put 1500 in here. Let's swap this over. This swapped over okay. We're sitting at LHR 74 for each of these. We'll see if this goes up or down. See here, 1500 is locked in there. That's pretty cool. I'm going to have to play around with that and see if there's some better settings. For now, we'll use 1500. Where's our power for this? Cool. So we're running at, it says 100 watts at the software, 123. So that is working with the absolute core clock because we have a power limit of 130, 135 for those cards. And it's 90 here. So I know that this bounces up and down a bit, but that core clock is what's limiting that, those power. So that's pretty cool. So at 289 right now, we will leave it and come back to it in a while and see how it does. Here we are back at the rig after much time away. I think it's been 11 days and sadly it crashed yesterday. You look right here, what time is this? One in the morning on December 29th, it crashed. The very first crash in 10 or 11 days running the LHR unlock. The night before I changed some of my OCs. Check those out over here. I've been sneaking up this memory megahertz. I was at 2000 for Raven. And then I've been slowly ticking this up, like 50 at a time. Last night I went from 2500 up to 2550 for these 3060 cards. And GPU number 4, which is right here in bus ID number 5, crashed. You look at the error log, it says this one was the culprit. I haven't changed it down, I want to see if it crashes again. If it does, I will drop that back down to 2500. But for now, it's okay. One crash in 11 days. That's okay. And I'm pretty happy to have these a lot higher than they were. So we went from 2000 up to 2550. I can't even remember what this one was at. This is the 3060 Ti. It is up to 2150. So it's been going up too. And I actually dropped that core clock from 1500 down to 1450. So they're all heading in the right direction. And this is what's really cool here. LHR unlock is on 75 for all the cards. 74.5 on that. 3060 Ti, so those cards are doing really good. Once again, this is on SMOS and the LHR is 75. When I put this on Hive OS, the LHR drops down to 72, so I don't know why it is so much better on SMOS. Same cards, same overclocks, same everything, same miner, both running T Rex, but this one is on Simple Miner, my other ones are on Hive. And the simple minor ones do a lot better. LHR 75 on simple minor, LHR 72 on Hive. So that's kind of interesting right there. We're at 304 mega hash. That's pretty cool. 307. Holy cow. This thing is doing awesome. I can't believe it. It was doing about 290 at the old memory. And I bumped, bumped it up. So I've gained about 15 mega hash on this thing by increasing the memory. So that's really cool and lowering the power as well with that core clock. That's very cool. Let's check out the profitability on these. 
So on Raven, we were doing about 192.5 mega hash. Current for, let's just refresh this. 192.5, current for 30 days, $645 Canadian. We're going to rock some Canadian prices today. We go over here to Ethereum. This is actually more like 305. Let's calculate that out. $674. $645 on Raven, plus it uses more electricity. Ethereum, $674 less electricity. So that's a win-win in every way on Ethereum right now with those LHR unlocks. So that's very cool. I'm going to leave it there for a while. This actually is my last rig that I'd moved over to Ethereum. So 100% of my LHR cards are now on Ethereum, which is pretty cool. No more Raven for me. And that Raven having, let's see when that is. Raven having 12 days, 15 hours, 22 minutes. We are going to have to to keep an eye on this. This is really cool. I'm really excited to see what happens here. I've got my Ravens. I'm holding on to those. 11th of January, the halving commences. So the block reward goes from 5,000 down to 2,500. So that is going to be real cool. This isn't the first time that I've seen a live halving, I suppose you could say. I guess there's a Bitcoin one recently, but I'm not mining Bitcoin, so I wasn't paying that much attention to it. However, looking back, you can see that the price really jumps up on that after each of those. But Raven is not a Bitcoin. Raven is a whole other beast. You know, it sounds popular. It's more for small-time miners, whatever. I'm not even really sure who's big into this, but I've got some of it. And the halving is soon, so that's pretty cool. So there's my final LHR rig moved over. I'm going to leave it where it's at right now. Let me know what your clocks are here. I'm interested to see this. So I know some guys have this up to 2,800. And maybe those 3060 TIs, a little higher than that. But core, I don't know where anybody locks their cores. I think kind of around here, maybe I should check out some more videos on YouTube to check that out. But so far, where these cards are compared to where they used to be, I'm really happy with it. So that's that rig. This is my Spider 3060 rig. Moved over to Ethereum. I'm going to figure out exactly how much I moved over from Raven onto Ethereum and just do a big old calculation to figure out the difference in price that I'm making now, now that I'm on Ethereum 100%. So that's what I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. You guys take it easy, and I will see you in the next one.